In the equation 5x squared minus 8y to the third minus 8x plus 35y squared equals x to the third, I'm being asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So there, there, this equation includes x's and y's, but I'm finding the derivative of y, so my final answer will be in the form y prime equals with respect to x. So anytime I take the derivative of, vari of a variable that is a y, that's not an x, I'm going to have to include a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x. Let's start by di differentiating both sides of the equation. I'm going, to, I'm going to take a look at the derivative of each term individually on both sides of the equation. First, the derivative of 5x squared is simply 10x. The derivative of 8y to the third power, where, well, I'm differentiating with respect to x. So when I see a variable of y, I'm going to apply my differentiation rule, uh, the power rule in this case, to get 24y to the second power. But I have to multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'll represent with a y prime. The third term on the left side of the equation is negative 8x. That, that derivative is negative 8. The derivative of 35y squared is going to be 70y to the first power times the derivative of y. On the right side of the equation, I have an x to the third power whose derivative is 3x squared. Now, again, I'm finding the derivative of y. I'm finding y prime. So to solve for y prime, I'm going to keep the terms that involve a y prime on the left side of this equation, and I'm going to move the terms that do not have a y prime, namely 10x and negative 8, to the right side of the equation. There's already a 3x squared on the right side. I'll have to subtract 10x and add 8 to both sides of the equation to move those to the right. Once I have the y prime terms, the terms involving a factor of y prime on the left side of the equation, I'll factor y prime to the front. Here I'm, I'm left with, inside the parentheses, negative 24y squared plus 70y. And on the right side of the equation, 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 is unchanged. Once the y prime is factored out to the front, I can divide both sides of the equation by the, the entire quantity, negative 24y squared plus 70y. Both sides of the equation will be divided by that exact quantity. And this will serve to isolate y prime, because on the left side of the equation, that will divide away to be 1. And I'll have y prime equals 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 all over negative uh, 24y squared plus 70y. I'll write the positive term first, positive 70y minus 24y squared. The derivative of 5x squared minus 8y to the third minus 8x plus 35y squared equals x to the third is, by implicit differentiation, 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 all over 70y minus 24y squared.